YouTube, Johnny Kleshnikov here. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, part two for the VZ59 that I told you about today. Um, last time I showed you a trick on how to load the belt easy. Uh, this time uh, it's going to be a video on taking this bad boy apart and putting them back together. So before we take them apart, let's look at exactly what we're taking apart. Uh, let's start from the back. Uh, buttstock here. It has a uh, basically like a holder. Put your shoulder right here. Uh, I'm gonna try to make some sort of a custom uh, foam padding here because uh, when you shoot hundreds of rounds, it does kick into your uh, your shoulder. It can tend to leave a nice little bruise. Uh, this part here is uh, how you attach the uh, the tripod. Um, these rifles actually were used to shoot down helicopters. Here's a look at the rear sight here. Um, here's the trigger. Uh, very interesting trigger. Uh, that's in the forward position right now. I'll show you more about how that operates. Uh, it's got a handle that is multi-position. Uh, you can hold it up to uh, main purpose of this handle you can go from one side to the other, but main purpose is for carrying and for, uh, excuse me, switching out the, the barrel. These barrels do get very, very hot when you put hundreds of rounds down them. Um, the barrel is a Walter. It's German. Uh, Malcolmar had uh, these custom made in Germany for this uh, build project. Uh, muzzle brake. I've never seen a another type of rifle that has this type of little bell uh, muzzle brake. It has a uh, completely adjustable bipod, uh, adjustable for height on either side. Uh, uh, back to this side, this is where the empty uh, reusable belts come out of. This side right here is where the belts come in. And that's pretty much it for this side. All right, so I'll put this on the tripod and we'll start taking it apart. All right, so if you get a VZ-59, you're gonna get a case like this. It's got oil and can. It's got all sorts of other funky tools. Uh, coolest tool that comes with it is this dude right here. It's got some little funky tools here. But this is probably the coolest part. Uh, first thing you want to do, I'll show you the best right quick how it works. Basically safety first, make sure that it's unloaded. Lift this part here. It is in the engaged position right now. That is how you uh, cock it. You can see how it operates. Uh, one fire, one pull. Uh, the highroad.org, there is one member who requested specific information for how the semi-auto function works uh, because originally this rifle was full auto. Uh, so basically, to cock this, it is, it's kind of a chore. Um, here's, ooh. This thing's heavy, by the way. This thing weighs a good 30 to 40 pounds. I mean, I could work out with this thing. Anyway, so here's uh, in battery. I absolutely love that noise. Even when you're not firing, that noise, for anybody who's got a VZ-59, means fun. Beautiful noise. Anyways, so in order to cock this thing, um, this is completely unlike any other rifle. It's not like an AK or AR where you got the thing up here where you pull. You basically push down this lever here. You got push forward, and then it takes a good amount of strength to, to pull it back, and she is loaded. So you could see one more time where the firing pin, firing pin right there, where it gets hit. Bam. All right, so in order to first take this thing apart, it's been fired. If I move it too far forward, it's gonna re-engage. I don't wanna do that. 
So you want it to be loose. You want there to be no tension on the springs. There is three springs in here, which we're gonna look at in a minute. All right, so this tool I told you about a second ago is for loosening these little bolts off. I already pre-loosened these. I don't wanna bore you with just taking screws out. Here's one on this side and another one on this side. Now I'm taking this out. Originally, I bought this gun as a present for becoming a, for getting my first teaching contract. I teach high school math. And it took me three tries to pass the test to become a high school math teacher in 900 hours of studying. And that was while I was working 50 to 60 hours a week a long-term substitute teacher so okay so you got two little nuts one on either side done I'm sorry uh, bolts not nuts so we take the button off. Oops. all right so I told you there's three springs here this one doesn't look like a spring but it's got a spring in it and that's why you want to have no tension on the pistol grip to make taking this out a lot easier. All right. So that part's off, 1950s technology. All right, so first thing to take off is the, the pistol grip that's got the guts here for the trigger. And you could see what all's involved in there. Doesn't look like too much is going on, but it's enough to make this thing go bang every time. I fired a, a few thousand rounds through this thing and it has gone bang each and every single time. All right, first thing that comes out, this thing, it matches up like this on the back here. So this thing fits. And here's the actual guts that slide straight out. Um, you have the piston right here. Here's empty space. And here is the actual mechanism that Malcolm Moore had engineered to make this joker uh, semi-auto, one shot, one pull. So if you got one of these kits off of centerfire, or somewhere else, you're gonna have to figure out how to machine something like this to make it go one shot, one pull, one bang. This part comes off. I don't remember if this piece comes off, but nonetheless, as I said, I've, I've fired a few thousand rounds through here. Each and every single time it's gone bang. I use uh, frog loop. I should have cleaned it a little bit better. Uh, taking some of the carbon off, but nonetheless, it works perfectly fine. Um, so that's the only thing that really happens here. You have the firing pin right in there. That's where a firing pin gets hit from the back. It's kind of similar to an AK, except for on the AK, it's on the bottom. Looks something like that. This guy goes up from the top. All right, so next piece is the barrel. Barrel is taken apart by this part right here. The, I don't know the exact technical term, but the part right here where the belt goes in, flip it up. Now to take the barrel off, all you do is you twist this and then you just pull straight out. You have teeth that fit right in there that grab onto the teeth right here. And this is basically as far as you really need to go when field stripping. 
um, a VZ59. These are all your basic pieces right here. Pistol grip, the magical tool, barrel, main piece, you got your piston uh, with the, the assembly, and then your buttstock with the springs. So now putting it back together, you just do everything in reverse. Sometimes putting this barrel back in is kind of a chore. Sometimes it cooperates really easy. Other times it kind of doesn't. There it goes. That's the only part that I dislike about this rifle. All right. Try that again at the end. Sometimes it works a little easier after you put everything else in. So this part slides in just like this. You gotta make sure this part is pushed in forward. It slides straight in. Next part put in is the pistol grip. Pistol grip slides, slides right on in. Okay, this goes, it goes all the way forward. Here's pistol grip. The little back piece goes in just like that, slides straight in. Now it's just a matter of matching these three guys, the three springs straight in. All right, so make sure everybody matches up so you can put these little bolts back on. Let's try this girl one more time. It's locked. It's loaded. This gun's pretty heavy, by the way. It's a good 30 to 40 pounds. It could easily work out lifting this thing. All right. So basically, with the exception of the barrel going back on exactly how it's supposed to, Supposed to come straight back in. Oh, I'll have to fiddle with it more later. Uh, I don't want this to take too long. Anyways, so once I fiddle with it a little bit more, it's gonna pop straight in. This is gonna go back down, close it, and then it's good to go. Um, any questions, comments, um, leave them down below. Uh, I'm currently writing a book. It's completely unrelated to guns. It's about fatherhood and mentorship. Um, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you get a free copy through Amazon.com. I got two chapters left. I'm writing that book. 
Um, any specific questions on this, um, comments below, like, subscribe. Hope this has been helpful, at least an informative piece.